So I've been down to um, home base where they're having a sale in Sligo and I got these tiles. Now the blue ones were 125 but these beautiful ones which really do match the stove were 525. Anyway, I just got those four and I got some other little packets of tiles and stuff, you know, the little tiny squares. I'll show you those shortly. I've just got my dinner there cooking on the stove. I'm very tempted to go down tomorrow morning and get enough of these, which I think is going to be about 11 more, something like that, just to go around the metal plate. And then I can start all my bizarre stuff from that point. <laughs> But it just gives it some kind of continuity, you know, from the stove. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to be fiddling about with this now for a few days until I get it right. But yeah, I think I'm very tempted to go and get another 11 of those. I might get away with 10 if I space them out a wee bit. And no, I don't use tile spacers. I'm inclined to space out according to <laughs> the space, if you, get what I, if you get my meaning. Anyway gonna have my dinner now I've got some gravy over there with onions in it and I've got some vegan sausages already cooked just waiting on the spuds so this is Monday and I didn't go back up to Sligo because <laughs> see it never rains but it pours you know that old saying well um no sooner had I thought about going back up to Sligo and getting the tiles um, then I had to make an appointment for the dentist. So I'm seeing the dentist tomorrow at two o'clock. So that's going to cost me. So I'll just, I just thought, look, you know, do what you always do, Colette. Make it up as you go along. <laughs> well, not quite. No, it does take a little bit of um, sorting and organising. But I've got enough tiles here. They're all bits and bobs tiles, you know, end of range and in the sale. And uh, I'm quite liking what I'm doing so far. Hmm. So I have just finished and now I've got to paint the wall. But I'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out, considering I did it on a budget of about, I think about, 45 euros in total. Now I've got lots of tiles left over. None of those beautiful star ones, they were expensive. But I have lots of others, so I will be doing some more projects. Yeah, now just to tidy up the kitchen. So I'm just sitting out here in my little egg chair, <sighs> enjoying the afternoon sun. Just sitting down for a few minutes. And there's my little pats lying down. We went for a walk just over there through the arch and she picked up the scent of something and she went berserk. <laughs> it's a good thing I have her on the lead because you see, I mean, people have asked me, why have you got Patsy on the lead? Well, I'm surrounded by sheep, fields of sheep, and sheep are very easily scared. And Patsy, when she sees them, she wants to run after them. So to keep my little Patsy safe, and to keep the sheep safe, that little lead goes a long way. Look at this sun. Look at the light. You know, it's one of the things that I just love about the seasons. It's a beautiful, ethereal change of light. You know? It goes from golden during the summer to a sort of silvery amber in early September and then through to a beautiful silver light right up through and past Imbach. Nature is what I live for, I think. 
nothing compares. Nothing. This chaotic world of constant horror and lies and killing is as far removed from nature So here we go, it is finished, except I've got to paint the top there. I had to stop yesterday, you know, because of the dentist. And I thought when I came back, I wasn't going to be climbing any ladders. And I have um, I have to get the, the big step ladder in there anyway. But there we go. I mean, that's had two coats of paint. I might put a third one on. I'm very happy with the way it's turned out. It just looks bright, cheerful dare I say, artistic. <laughs> yeah, I've said it. Yeah. Happy. So as you can see, I've got two uh, little things of... Oh, my mouth is very sore, so I'm not going to talk too much. Um, I was at the dentist yesterday. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm notorious for putting the dentist on what's called the long finger. Uh, you know, putting it off and putting it off. Um, so a few months ago, one of my back teeth broke off, left the root in. It wasn't painful, so I just thought I'd leave it. And then last week, the same thing happened with another back tooth. My teeth have always been rather weak and pitiful. <laughs> anyway. So off I uh, trotted to the dentist yesterday. I managed to get an appointment. Uh, I rang up on the Monday, got an appointment for yesterday. And uh, had two extractions. So I'm very relieved today. Like I'm not complaining. I am relieved that it's done. But my mouth is somewhat sore and it has, again, set me back financially. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> a few hundred actually. But anyway, I'm just relieved that I live in the Western world and in a country that's not suffering war and decimation and genocide and don't, don't, don't. Don't let me go there. I'm just grateful, okay, that I could have gone to the dentist yesterday and got <clears throat> that sorted out. And I have adequate pain relief now. And I even have this little, um, which I never, ever touch, you know, usually. But I think it's important, you know, for dental treatment. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. Feeling a wee bit rough this morning. But still managing to make my coffee. Yeah. I'm just sipping it. Just in wee tiny, tiny sips. Because I don't want to disrupt the healing in my mouth there. <laughs> oh. It's a happy morning for me. So I have relearned... A rather wonderful life lesson this week. I say this week, just over the past four or five days, I have relearned to live in gratitude. Because when you're faced with something that's not particularly nice and you have to get over it, you have to deal with it, I find it's great to be able to leapfrog in my mind over that issue and see <clears throat> what's coming up, see something good that's coming up. And to live in gratitude and to give thanks for the for all the beauty and, and love and, and support that there is all around. 
And I want to say a massive, massive thank you from the bottom of my heart to those of you who have supported me over the past few days. You really have brought (coughs) a lot of contentment into my life. It's been wonderful. You know, it's so good when you can actually feel that you're not alone, that you're not on your own. So blessings to you all, my friends. I'm recognised by the Irish government as a writer and therefore have been accredited artist status. My first book, A Cottage in Three Acres. My second, In Search of the Goddess Rising. My third, Walking Between Worlds. And two booklets, The Elton Cottage Guide to the Deep Midwinter and the Celtic Festival of Imok. All books can be purchased through my website and there's a link beneath each and every video. I will be posting a link into the comment section also. You can hear me read the first two chapters of my book, A Cottage in Three Acres, over on my website, bealtonacottage.com. Again, there's a link beneath each and every video.